All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Fly versus 120. This game taking place here on. Well, I. This is going to be Last Refuge. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and swap the colors so we can keep track if it is going to be, in fact, be a Blade Master in this 1v1 matchup. And well, we see 120 spawning as the red undead over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Fly spawning as the blue orc. Thank you for all the well wishes so far. I am still recovering a little bit from like just bad chest congestion and a very bad cold that's been lingering around for quite some time. Not quite sure how to well, shake it off, but... Um, I will be with you and hopefully I'll be able to get better and better. Um, also, I did make the announcement on my Facebook and Twitter. I will be attending DreamHack Anaheim, um, being part of the ESL Pro Tour in some way, shape, or form. I still don't know how I'm going to be used or in what context, but hopefully, you know, I'll be able to do some coverage for that event right there. Let's go ahead and break things down in this 1v1 matchup. We are looking at a barracks being placed down here. The Orc Burrow, there is that Blade Master being trained. Meanwhile, Crypt, Graveyard, Death Knight is going to go ahead and make its way out. Probably pick up something from that Tomb of Relics, of Rod of Necromancy perhaps, which really enables the undead to do a little bit of early creeping. Now, so far in this 1v1 matchup, well, interesting that the words actually show up right off over here. Um, in this 1v1 matchup, what can we really expect as we're going to be looking at the Blade Master making its way out? And my apologies if I have a hard time stumbling right now. I am still casting with a cold, but I know a lot of viewers out there were really hoping to, uh, to get some more games from me. And I really wanted to say thank you to all of the people who have been watching and really just just having a great time um, getting excited about Warcraft 3 in these coming days. Now, Ogre Warrior going to go ahead and engage Skeletal Minion, taking quite a bit of damage. It most likely will try to back off here in just a moment. No, it is not. We're going to see the damage just get absorbed by that Death Knight. However, the Skeletal Minions do deal bonus damage to that Forest Troll Trapper, <coughs> as the Forest Troll Trapper does have medium armor. Another Rod of Necromancy quickly being used right there. That Forest Troll Trapper will end up getting taken down. Blade Master has sold his items, picked up the Healing Salve, has a Gloves of Haste of his own, and is now going to perhaps try and clear out some of these other creep camps here. This Forest Troll High Priest, a high priority target, or this Null Overseer, both dropping very nice items. As we're going to see them perhaps try and engage here in just a moment. The, the Blade Master trying to get every bit of, well, hit points that he can without delaying himself too much. Death Knight now going after clearing out this Murloc Creep Camp. All the rods and Necromancy charges. Well, um, well, another one should be ending up here in just a moment. Going to go ahead and use another charge. Two more Skeletal Minions join in on the fight as the Death Knight gets to level 2. Blade Master finishing off the 5-3-3 Creep Camp will get to level 2 off of this Null Overseer here. Acolyte, however, going to be able to do a little bit of scouting here in just a moment. Is he going to get the last hit in? I do not think so. Picks up a Circuit of Nobility and is now backing away. Death Knight shifting on over here using Skeletal Minions. Now finally adding in a Crypt Fiend into this fight here. Crypt Fiend's high damage. Slow attack as that Ogre Magi will get taken down. And this is the standard army composition that you see in this particular matchup. Death Knight is not going to have a dust of appearance. Let's take a look at this. Blade Master. Nope. Death Knight gets the kill. Getting the Death Coil there. Perhaps knowing that that Grunt is perhaps nearby. Blade Master shows up to the party. Crypt Fiend now gets a little bit of damage right there as well. Wind Walk Strike. No, Critical Strike onto that Crypt Fiend. As the Crypt Fiend now trying to slither its way back home. Or, well, just Spider Walk its way back home too. All right. The Crypt Fiends now back on Blight is going to be able to heal up significantly faster. You can see also with that Unholy Aura, a little bit of passive regeneration. Meanwhile, Blade Master now going after the Forest Roll High Priest. Going to go ahead and aggro those units there. I do not believe the Blade Master got the kill as we see a little bit of damage now getting absorbed right here. Inner fire across those two remaining units. A little bit of heal as well. Is the Death Knight going to get that kill? No, it is not. As we see now, Scroll of Speed being used there. Death Coil not going to be enough to finish it off as the Blade Master goes after a low hit point Crypt Fiend, but really cannot stick around for far too long.
Blade Master now looking to head away for some of the forest trolls now finally retreating back. They are going to be, well, easy pickings for this undead army, but it should end up not giving level two. Putting back off to the north here, Blade Master going to go ahead and aggro creep. Skeletal Minion was trying to do a little bit of scouting as the Blade Master now heads back here to heal up the remaining army. So far, early action is pretty much even, and we are really looking to see what the second stage of this matchup is going to hold. We are going into tier 3, most likely will be a Torin Chieftain for that third hero. Very, very powerful as the Death Knight. Well, is it going to be able to get that last bit of experience? Death Knight now go oh, well, maybe forced to try and Death Coil. Yes, that Crypt Fiend there. A big 400 hit point heal as the Death Knight and the Blade Master are now changing blows. All right, Null Overseer down to 336 hit points. I believe that, well, the Shadow Hunter is going to go ahead and show up but will not be able to deny either. And the Death Knight using that mana to ensure kills, 200 hit point, um, just sudden kills, as opposed to allowing the Blade Master to get that final shot off. Ogre Lord, and now Grab's gonna end up getting surrounded here. Yes, does end up, or may end up getting surrounded here in just a moment, a five unit surround. Ogre Lord gonna be in trouble, gonna try to engage its way out of this fight. Not going to be able to do very much as the Ogre Magi and the remaining units do show up to the party. Easy, easy, powerful item for that Blade Master picking up that Hood of Cunning. Lich on, out onto the field. Frost Armor quickly cast onto the Death Knight and the Lich, making sure that the Blade Master doesn't have easy target and easy time dealing damage to those units here. Once that Lich gets to level 2 though, um, well, Frost Nova will definitely be on the table as we are now adding in some Obsidian Statues into the fight. Healing Ward being dropped for Fly, very powerful item pickup here, enabling him to, well, keep his units alive and well and be ready not only in this fight but the upcoming fights as well as the Blade Master easily gets to level 3. Death Knight with double potions of greater mana. This might be a very, very bad day indeed. As the Lich, let's take a look at this. Are we going to see a Death Coil? What's happening there? Death Coil, in comes the engagement. There's the Hex onto that unit, and we were just absolutely expecting that. Are we going to see a Death Coil there? No, we are not. Not in time. And that was beautifully done by Fly. Fly purposely came in into that spot, knowing that he could sh uh, just quickly, quickly Hex the Death Knight. While that Death Knight was hexed, all of a sudden a bit of burst damage onto the Lich. The Lich taking that Wind Walk Strike, and then the subsequent damage, even with Frost Armor, couldn't hold it off. Death Knight now sits at level 3. Double Obsidian Statues out here joining in on the fight as well. As we're looking at Fly doing a great job clearing out some difficult creep camps. Healing Wards are, well, keeping this army alive and well, and allowing Fly to take... Well, a little bit more of a risky maneuver going after these higher level creep camps, but knowing that these units are just going to be alive and well even after the fact. Death Knight going after the Rock Golem now, level 4, just on the other side of one quick death. It is going to be giving most likely level 2 Unholy Aura. Level 2 on or is, is he going for something else? Uh, no, so far hasn't trained that second ability as of yet. Um, could actually try to go for Dark Ritual. Sometimes that game, that particular ability does come into play, but not quite sure if we will see that now. Fly making quick, quick work, and the Torin Chieftain actually went, to, I believe, for Endurance Aura first. Endurance Aura over Stomp, and that is a bit of a surprise right now as the Torrent Chieftain with Stomp would be able to deal so much damage at this point. Torrent Chieftain almost gets up to level 2 though, as the Shadow Hunter may decide to back off. Nope, does not decide to back off, and the Torrent Chieftain still shy of level 2. Death Knight, um, well, wandering around off to the north. I thought that was an illusion for the curious position, or, or the curious position away from the rest of the army. Meanwhile, the Lich sitting at level 2, attempting to get to level 3, clearing out of this creep camp here. Going to be able to do that without much of a problem, as the Death Knight is looking to do a bit of scouting. Alright, let's take a look at this Acolyte quickly and easily taken down. Haunted Goldmine is going to be done here in just a moment, finally getting up to that fortified armor, greatly reducing the amount of damage it is dealing. Blade Master only deals about 10 damage per attack now. 
and an acolyte or any other units making their way could have some easy easy pro or an easy easy times acolyte gonna quickly now just start repairing this hunted gold mine or well perhaps just starting to try and mine from it we are at 50 compared to 45 Torin Chieftain gets up to level 3. We are at Troll Berserkers. Endurance Aura level 1. Kodo Beast is out here as well. War Drum's going to give damage bonus. Death Knight, Lich move, making its way out and now adding in the Pit Lord for that frontline unit. Torin Chieftain still sitting at level 3. Hasn't trained that other ability at all. As we're going to be looking at uh, items now being transferred around. Torin Chieftain with a large amount of mana and a Cloak of Shadows to boot as we see a pocket great hall finishing off here very very fast 10 minutes 11 minutes into this game battle may be raging on here kodo beast trying to get away torrent chief to maybe able to come in here and where is that stomp there it is a big stomp right there. Surprised that we didn't see a silence. And Torin Chieftain dealing so much damage across the board. But meanwhile, Destroyers going after those ground new, ground Berserkers. There is was a little bit of mana right there. As we're going to see another unit getting taken out again. Destroyers now trying to fight back here. A little bit of Hallow Terror now moving back. As we're going to see some of those units get taken out. It's a bad day to be a unit at this point. As the Destroyers are just getting taken down left and right. Lich finally gets that Frost Armor. May well gets a death coil to stay alive in comes a scroll of speed there is another hex as this could be go from bad to worse are we gonna see a potion lesser in vulnerability yes we are death knight should be coming across with the death coil here in just a moment there you have it but that is only a six second invulnerability it is not gonna last for very long as the howl of terror greatly reducing the amount of damage here death knight could be coming off with a death coil there it goes again big big damage being mitigated with that howl of terror there's a stomp and the lich does finally get taken down as the stomp stunned the lich long enough and the death knight was unable to get a big heal all right blade master with a wind walk strike burrow on that crypt fiend there's a dust of appearance again as the units are or i believe that was a dust of appearance or a reveal torrent chieftain now shifting its way back down banshees are now out onto the field as 120 is in serious trouble as Fly's Blade Master has just been overwhelming the game so far. Great Hall currently mining away once again. We are seeing both sides fully saturated. Ziggurat trying to get in a position. Blade Master is at 433 in terms of hero level compared to a 431. That third hero making a big difference. We've seen how strong that Torrent Chieftain is with Stomp in ensuring kills. Hi, Aria. Yes, here you go. Good night. Is it undead versus orc? It's undead versus orc, yes. <clears throat> All right. Coming back around 49 supply. Um, both sides sitting in low upkeep. Perhaps both sides waiting for the right opportunity. This is one of the ways that professional players, well, they try to spend their gold and resources on items and other things before finally breaking into low upkeep. As we see right now, 58 compared to 53. Headhunters are here. There's one Nerubian Tower. Is this going to be enough of a home field advantage? Howl of Terror. Death Coil quickly finishes off one of those units there. Obsidian Statue going to get taken out. There it goes. Obsidian Statue not trying to hide in the very back. This front line location, 120 in a great spot to fend off this uh, this place. Meanwhile, the Pit Lord going to perhaps try to hold on for a little while longer. Destroyers are here as well. There is another purge as we see a little bit more slow being thrown down. Fly in serious trouble now, down by 13 supply after that exchange. And the fighting in a narrow choke point, adding in the Banshee's curse, al allowing... Well, or forcing the Blade Master to actually miss its target fairly often. That is a problem. Lich is still nearby. Let's take a look at we may see an engagement. Torrent Chieftain Blade Master now tries to swing back again as we're looking at the Orb of Corruption removing some of that precious, precious armor. Blade Master at plus 32 with a faster attack speed. This, that is still very scary. Let's take a look. Shadow Hunter now with the Sobi Mask to try and top off all of that mana as all of these heroes continue to perhaps try to gain a little bit more of an advantage. Blade Master with a potion of lesser invulnerability. Shadow Hunter with some potions of mana to survive a little while longer. Torrent Chieftain 
also with a portion of lesser invulnerability as we're most likely going to be looking at the Torrent Chieftain trying to lay down a critical stomp along this back line. Pit Lord has mana ready to go. Obsidian Statue curiously in the front. That's not what you want to see. The Obsidian Statue could actually get burst down very fast with a, a purge um, onto that one particular unit. Torn Chief to now looking to back up again. And there it goes. All right, 71 versus 53. All right, now that we have the Abomination, as long as that Abomination spreads that disease cloud, um, well, being even away from combat, the undead will start to have more of an advantage since there won't be as much natural regeneration. Obsidian Statue is rejoining in on the fight in addition to a Crypt Fiend. Still a 15 supply difference. As 120 ready to engage. All right, let's take a look at this Blade Master going after that unit right there. Pitlor going to try and dive on in. Are we going to see a Torrent Chieftain stomp? No, no Torrent Chieftain stomp. There's the Death Quell keeps the Pit Lord alive. There is that Howl of Terror. Torrent Chieftain still has not used that stomp as of yet. A bit of a surprise as the Torrent Chieftain may be trying to make its way in. There's the stomp, and there we go. Are we going to try to start to hold the line here as we take a look? The level two Pit Lord still alive. Howl of Terror, Cleave now getting added in. Destroyer is now trying to back up again. Torrent Chieftain waiting for another stomp here. Is it going to come into play? Blade Master going after unit. There's a purge. Torrent Chieftain not stomping. There's a, I, I believe that was actually a death pack to get a little bit of hit points back again. There's the stomp once more as the units are now once again in a big retreat. Blade Master back on the other side. And Blade Master down to 47 supply compared to 80. All right, Fly is in serious trouble right now. His army is smaller, and he's somehow allowed 120 to just build us this massive, massive, oppressive army. At this point, well, let's take a look. Pit Lord's at level 2. Death Knight is at 4, almost at 5. Lich is sitting at 3 with plus damage with that range attack. That auto attack on the Lich actually very scary with that negative um, armor reduction in addition to the Claws of Attack plus 6. Torrent Chieftain, perhaps if he can get to level 4, maybe to get a little bit more bonus damage. Kodo Beast is also slowly digesting that um, well Abomination, and it will be quite some time before it is taken out. Replenishment Potion perhaps should be used right now. Get a little bit more hit points, get a little bit more mana for the upcoming fight. Blade Master trying to pick off... Um, well, pick up an obsidian statue while it has the opportunity, but so far unable to do so. Shadow Hunter, Torin Chieftain, both at four. Blade Master is also at four. Four, four, four compared to now a four, three, two. Orc still with the advantage in terms of a level experience, but army size, a big advantage for 120. But he is now currently down in economy. This next push needs to deal a terrible, terrible damage and put him up ahead. Otherwise, the comeback will be in play as the Blade Master and Torrent Chieftain may become too strong. Torrent Chieftain, there's the stomp. The stun still hits Spirit Link. Destroyers are right there. As you're taking a look, the Berserkers trying to like, just devour their way through another stomp, taking out much of that back line again. Torrent Chieftain now being forced to retreat back low on mana. 84 supply compared to 74. Healing Wave saves that Raider as we're going to be looking at a couple of buildings getting taken down there. Obsidian Statue almost gets taken down. Blade Master still alive. However, ever so Barely, as we're still mining away once again. All right, let's take a look at this Blade Master. Can it actually go after the Obsidian Statue that has mana? That is going to be the key portion here. Let's take a look. Kodo Beast going to be here, ready to go. We are ready to engage. Destroyer right there. Blade Master going to engage here. Let's take a look. Torrent Chief and no scroll of speed. There's the ensnare down as the Blade Master goes straight for that Obsidian Statue. Obsidian Statue is going to be absolutely key. If you take it down, no more healing. And that is it. Torrent Chieftain now in that front. He still has a potion of mana po and potion of lesser invulnerability. Could try to stay a while, alive a little while longer. There is another Howl of Terror. There's that big stomp. 86 compared to 72. As the Pit Lord is going to get a Death Coil to get back up. 530 now. Blade Master still trying to fight its way through. Lich now getting up to level 5. As the Kodo Beast still does not have room in its belly. 82 compared to 72. Torin Chieftain now out of mana finally after two critical stomps as the Headhunters need to figure out a way to stay alive. There goes the Death Knight though. Death Knight, big portion of that army. Howl of Terror reducing much of the damage but the standing army of 
120 still very large, but in the end, Fly comes away with the victory. The overall standing army still showed that 120 was in the lead, but Fly able to take the win, perhaps unaware that he was still up by 10 supply. After that Death Knight was gone, maybe there wasn't time for a scroll of Town Portal trying to run away from an orc army that has raiders with ensnare just means that you're going to have two to three more additional dead units and with that said and done well the orc army with those heroes and their higher levels would have eventually come out ahead even though it was four 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 that blade master was very close to level five and the fact that the death knight was no longer in the picture changes much thanks for watching thanks for listening Hope you guys enjoyed it.